She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see What's up guys and welcome back to my channel I apologize if you hear something <laughs> In the background is my father listening to some kind of documentary. He likes to blast the TV hell loud. So dad, if you're watching this, turn your TV down, please. And thank you. <laughs> anyway, so today's video is going to be DIY pillowcases. The pillowcase that I made in this video was actually a gift for a friend. So she can have it as a gift for her boyfriend. It was a last minute Christmas idea. She came to me. So thank you, Jessica, for picking me as your sewing suitor. I've been wanting to do this video for a while, guys, though, because if you don't follow me on Instagram, I do updates and sneak peeks. So down below, it'll be there for you in the description box. My grandfather had passed away three years ago and we made these pillowcases. I got a lot of really positive responses. So I decided to make a video. So those of you who have possibly lost a loved one or have a birthday coming up or an anniversary or you just you know want to make a freaking pillowcase you can commemorate those or celebrate those and gift them with such a wonderful sentimental gift such as a pillowcase made out of t-shirts plus it's probably one of the most affordable gift ideas that you can do so you know, you can't go wrong with affordability and sentimental value. All you're gonna need for this simple project is a t-shirt, a pillow, either a sewing machine, um, a needle and thread, or you can even possibly use glue. I never tried that, but I've seen it done before. Of course, scissors and an optional item that you can use is interfacing, which just makes the material a little bit more stiff. So let's say you got a button up top that you're wanting to change into a pillowcase, then you may not use interfacing, but if you have a regular t-shirt and you don't want the material to be as soft as, you know, graphic tees usually are, then interfacing will be the go. All right. I'm ready. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I need to enter a dance and singing competition, y'all, like, because my level is unmatched. All right, let's go. Starting off, you are going to separate the front of the shirt from the back of the shirt. So I just did this by cutting up the side of the shirt. <laughs> piece of this pillow which is going to be where the graphic is I use six and a half by six and a half because I like mine a little bit more snug but if you like your pillowcase more roomy and flowy add additional measurements for your liking <music> piece cut out I am going to take the back of the shirt and cut out two 16 and a half by 11 pieces so we can make an envelope for the back piece of our pillowcase once again if you made any additional measurements to the front you're going to do it to the back so they align whenever you go to sew I also use interfacing so you're going to cut out the same measurements that you did for your front and back pieces and once when you do that, you're just going to follow the instructions as to how you're going to fuse the interfacing to the material. Then take your back pieces and you're going to place one piece on the top of the square with the interfacing facing towards you. And then take the other piece and put it on the bottom of the square, also with the interfacing facing towards you. It's okay that these materials overlap. They're actually meant to so your pillow does not spew out the back. Pin the material down on which I actually had to hold and rewind because I forgot that we have to fold back the material. So I just do this double fold and I pin the material down and sew it before we get to actually sewing the pillowcase down. Now that we actually hemmed the back pieces of our pillow, we are going to Pin the rest of the material down and get it ready for sewing. 
If you need to make any adjustments needed, flip your pillowcase inside out and look at what measurements need to be taken off. And then if you are good to go, go ahead and snip off the inner tips of the pillowcase, flip it inside out, and then voila! You have your newly made pillowcase. For all my peeps doing button up tops, what you're going to do is just cut out six and a half by six and a half for the front, keeping the shirt buttoned up because you want to keep the top aligned. And also a six and a half by six and a half on the back. Doing button up tops is actually more simple because you already have little envelopes made with the button up portion of the top. So all you're going to do from here is just sew this up and then once you have it all sewn up, you can unbutton and add your pillow on the inside. Lastly, adding embroidery patches that have messages written on them like so, make your pillow only a little bit more personal. If you like this video, please give me a big fat thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I hope everybody has a better year. You keep doing you the fabulous you. And I hope to see you guys next time. Mm, Cuffy babes. She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something about her features You'll find her beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her She's a Mona Lisa